Good morning. Today I will be demonstrating bed bath. So before providing a bed bath to the patient, make sure to perform first the proper way of medical hand washing. It is to reduce the transmission of microorganisms. Identify and explain the procedure to the client. Um, may I know your name and your birthday, Bob? Um, my name is Kelly Junisha and my birthday is on September 20, 2004. Okay, ma'am. So, today, po, I am assigned to give you a bed bath. Po. It is to make sure that you are carrying the procedure to the correct patient. Then, provide privacy to ensure the client's mental and physical comfort. Adjust the temperature and ventilation of the room. It prevents rapid loss of body heat during bathing. Then remove unnecessary articles on the bed and clear up the work area. Prepare all articles within easy to reach of nurse. Avoid interrupting procedure or leaving client unattended to retrieve missing equipment. Offer bedpan or urinal prior to bathing. It prevents interruption of bath and client will be more comfortable. Assist client to a comfortable position at the side of the bed closest to the health worker. Then raise the side rail. Easy access to client minimizes strain on the nurse back muscle. Loosen top sheet and replaces it with bath blanket. Bath blanket provides warmth and privacy. Removal of top linens prevent it from becoming soiled during the bath. Remove client's clothing under the bath blanket. And then remove pillow. Spread bath blanket under the client's head. Place towel over the client's chest. To make it easier to wash ears and neck, towel prevents soiling of bed linen and blanket. Wet the washcloth and fold around the hand in a mitten fashion. Meat retains water and heat and prevents splashing. Wash and dry the eyes from the inner cantus to the outer cantus using separate corner of the washcloth to prevent transmission of microorganisms. Using circular or S strokes, wash the face using soap with client's permission. Rinse, then pat dry. It facilitates through cleansing, soap tends to dry face. Then, clean the area behind and around ears and neck. Soap, rinse at least twice and pat dry. Remove bath blanket from arm farthest from you. Place towel lengthwise under arm. Wash with soap and water using long firm strokes from distal to proximal. It stimulates circulation and promotes venous return. Movement of arm exhausts axilla and exercises joints normal ROM. Raise and support arm above head while thoroughly washing axilla. 
Excess moisture causes skin maceration or softening. Then rinse and pat dry. Repeat the procedure on the nearer arm. Immerse both hands in water for 3 to 5 minutes. Soap and wash hands with washcloth, paying attention to the interdigital spaces. Soaking softens cuticles and calluses of hands. Loosens debris beneath the nail and enhances feelings of cleanliness. Rinse hands and removes the basin, then pat dry hands with towel. Then repeat the procedure on the other hand. Check temperature of water and replace if necessary, as warm water maintains client's comfort. Place bath towel across the chest and abdomen. Draping prevents unnecessary exposure of body part. Soap, rinse, and dry chest paying attention to the area of the umbilicus and under the breast. Secretions and dirt collect easily in areas of tight skin folds. Bath abdomen paying attention to the umbilicus and abdominal folds. Stroke from side to side. Wash, rinse, and dry well. Moisture and sediment that collect in skin folds predispose skin to maceration and irritation. Cover chest and abdomen exposed near leg by folding blanket towards midline. It prevents unnecessary exposure. Flex the leg at the knee and drape other leg and genital area with bath blanket. Wash the leg from distal to proximal end using long firm strokes paying attention to the popliteal area. Rinse, pat, and dry. Place basin lined with towel on bed, raise lower leg and slide basin under lifted foot. 
and then soak well. Soap and wash, making sure to bath between toes. And then rinse and dry well. Proper positioning of foot prevents pressure being applied from edge of basin against scalf. Secretions and moisture may be present between toes. Then repeat the procedure in other leg. Assist the patient in side lying position. Place the towel lengthwise along the side. Wash, rinse, and dry back from neck to buttocks using long firm strokes. Pay special attention to folds of buttocks and anus. Give back rub and change bath water. Skin folds near buttocks and anus may contain fecal secretions that harbor microorganisms. And then change bath water. And then wear disposable gloves if necessary. Gloves prevent contact with microorganism in body secretion. And then assist in supine position. Cover upper areas of the body, exposing only the perineum. If client can wash cover with bath blanket. If not, wash, rinse, and dry perineum. Pay special attention to skin folds. Ma'am, kaya niyo po bang hugasan yung sa private part niyo po? Um, yes po, nurse. Clients performing partial bath prefer to wash their own genitalia. Dispose gloves properly. And then assist the patient in dressing.
and then comb client's hair. It promotes client's body image. Then assist the patient to a comfortable position. Clean and replace bathing equipments. And then wash hands. It reduces transmission of microorganisms. That would be all. Thank you.